Hi, it's Graphics Calculator Gamer. This video will be a tutorial on how to install games programmed with Lua on your NSpire that do not require Endless. Reasons why you can't or may not want to install Endless are that it's only available up to operating system version 5.3 of the TI NSpire. This means if you're on a later operating system, you are unable to install it and will have to wait for the next version of Endless to be released. The final reason is that there is a very small potential risk that you could break your TI NSpire calculator in some way, for example brick it as with nearly any jailbreaking software. These games are written using the relatively simple programming language Lua which comes built into the TI NSpire. To download Lua games, visit this page on tikalc.org which I'll have a link to in the description as always. Here you can download many versions of popular games for the TI NSpire such as 2048, SimCity, Snake, Pong, Tetris etc. To demonstrate I'll be downloading this game, Minecraft 2D which was recommended to me in a comment. It's meant to be much more detailed than the 3D Minecraft clone Crafty and you are able to craft items. Once downloaded, extract the zip file and plug your TI NSpire into your computer. Then open TI NSpire Computer Link software for which there is a link in the description if you don't already have it. A reminder that this won't work for CX2s and that CX2 users will have to download the trial version of the TI NSpire student or teacher software. If the calculator does not show up as selectable immediately, click refresh. Once the TI NSpire shows up in the select handheld menu, select it. I will now create an optional folder on my calculator to transfer the Lua files to. Now locate the Lua files that you would like to transfer in the computer file browser. Simply select each file by holding down control while clicking on them and then copy and paste the selected files into the chosen destination in the TI NSpire file browser. If done successfully, a window titled Document Received will appear on your TI NSpire. Now all that's left to do is locate the Lua game that you wish to play on your NSpire in My Documents. Open it and the game should launch. If, like myself, you decide to download Minecraft 2D for your NSpire, I will have the controls in the description of this video. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching until the end. If you found this content useful, then maybe check out another video where I play games on the NSpire like this one.